And for today, we're going to discuss about a dangerous coral. But first, let us define what is meant by corals. Corals are marine invertebrates within the class Anthozoa and the phylum Nidaria. They typically live in compact colonies of many identical individual polyps. Coral species include the important reef builders that inhabit tropical oceans and secrete calcium carbonate to form a hard skeleton. Coral reefs are often called the rainforests of the sea, both due to the vast amount of species they harbor and to the high productivity they yield. Aside from the hundreds of species of coral, reefs support extraordinary biodiversity and a home to a multitude of different types of fish, invertebrates, and sea mammals. Although corals look beautiful and somewhat safe to handle, there is a particular coral that is dangerous to swimmers and divers. It is called the fire coral. Also known as the stinging coral or red sea coral, fire corals belong to the Meliaporina species and contrary to popular belief, they aren't a true coral at all. Fire corals are actually marine organisms that form colonies and are closely related to the jellyfish family and stinging anemones. Biology and Identification Fire coral, which belong to the genus Meliepora, are found in tropical and subtropical waters around the world. Generally, fire corals adopt a yellow-green to brownish branchy formation, although its external appearance often varies due to environmental factors. Because fire coral can colonize hard structures, it can even adopt a rather stony appearance with rusty coloration. Despite their calcareous structure, fire coral is not a true coral. These animals are more closely related to Portuguese man of war and other hydrozoans. Mechanism of injury Fire coral gets its name because of the fiery sensation experienced after coming into contact with a member of the species. The mild to moderate burning that is caused is the result of nidocytes embedded in its calcareous skeleton. These nidocytes contain nematocysts that will fire when touched, injecting their venom. Signs and Symptoms The burning sensation may last several hours and is often associated with a skin rash that appears minutes to hours after contact. This skin rash can take several days to resolve. Often. The skin reaction will subside in a day or two, but it may likely reappear several days or weeks after the initial rush disappeared. Fire coral lacerations in which an open wound receives internal envenomation are the most problematic fire coral injuries. Venom from Meliepora is known to cause tissue necrosis on the edges of a wound. These injuries should be carefully observed as necrotic tissue provides a perfect environment to culture serious soft tissue infections. Prevention Avoid touching these calcareous formations. If you need to nail on the bottom of the ocean, look for clear sandy areas. Remember that hard surfaces such as rocks and old conch may be colonized by fire coral even if they do not look branchy. Always wear full body wetsuits to provide protection against the effects of contact. Master buoyancy control. And lastly, look down while descending. First aid treatment. Number one, rinse the affected area with household vinegar. Redness and vesicles will likely develop. Do not puncture them. Just let them dry out naturally. Number three, keep the area clean, dry and aerated. Time will do the rest. For open wounds, seek medical evaluation immediately. And number five, antibiotics and a tetanus booster may also be necessary. That's all folks. Please be safe always. God bless.